Mama football back at home this week as the Liberty Flames coming to West Long Branch alongside the head coach Kevin Callahan. I'm Matt Harmon on the Mammoth Digital Network. Coach, let's jump right into this game against the Flames. It's a team that Mammoth does have some more recent history with having played the last couple of years. Well, having played them both in 2013 and 2014 down in Lynchburg, I think we have a pretty good feel for the type of program, the type of organization they are. You know, they're a quality football team. They have some outstanding athletes. And what we've seen in each of the last two seasons is, is that they're extremely well coached. When you think about their season so far, they've struggled to find some consistency. They've alternated wins and losses, but playing a pretty difficult schedule. They have a very competitive schedule. They're playing a schedule that's filled, loaded with teams that are nationally ranked. Um, you know, they did lose last weekend to Gardner-Webb, which was the conference opener for both teams. But that doesn't take away from the fact that the, the many weapons that they have on the offensive side of the ball and the aggressiveness for which they play defense. When you mention that game against Gardner-Webb, it does speak to this, the quality of the Big South yet again. One of the teams picked towards the bottom of the league, picking one of the league favorites. Well, I think, you know, in conference play, anyone can beat anyone else in any given week. And as we're seeing this week, we've got three teams ranked in the top 25, Charleston Southern, Liberty, and, and Coastal Carolina. And then you have Gardner-Webb and Presbyterian who are both playing excellent football. And let's not forget Kennesaw that's off to a 4-1 and one start. When you think about the game last week for this Monmouth team, a disappointing result down at Charleston Southern, uh, you to your own admission just were not pleased with the effort and the way that the, the team came out and played. Well, it's not that much the effort. I never said I wasn't pleased with the effort. I, I, what, what the problem was is we didn't execute very well. And when we get into conference play, and in any game for that matter, we need to execute at a much higher level. And I think that what we saw Saturday was that Charleston Southern was able to out-execute us in, in all phases of the game, certainly on offense and their defense against our offense. And in the kicking game, they were able to generate some big plays, some big returns that led to positive field position. Early on in this week of practice going into the game against Liberty, what's been the focus for this team able to try to turn the corner? Well, you know, we've just got to continue to move ahead, continue to improve and, and play better football. And I think the guys in the locker room, the guys on the team understand that. As we looked at the video from the Charleston Southern game, there was a lot of instances where, you know, had they made a, a better decision and done things a little bit differently, it would have resulted in a different outcome. So that's what we're focusing on this week. Uh, we certainly have our, our work cut out for us again with a quality team like Liberty coming in here to play. But the guys are excited to play another ranked team. It seems like looking unit to unit, the defense has been able, for the most part, able to hold its own during the course of this year. The offense may be the unit that's still looking to find that consistent play all during the course of 60 minutes. Well, you know, we, we had some breakdowns on both sides of the ball. You know, I, I, I agree with you that over the course of, you know, many of the games, the defense has been fairly consistent. But then again, Saturday, playing against uh, Charleston uh, Southern's option attack, we had some breakdowns on the perimeter, some breakdowns with assignments in terms of who was going to pitch and quarterback that led to some very big plays. And then the offensive side of the ball, we have to be able to run the ball consistently, which we did not do on Saturday. And we have to be smart about our decisions and our reads and where we're throwing the ball. Coach, as always, appreciate the time. Best of luck on Saturday. We'll see you then. Thanks, Matt. Liberty Flames coming to town here in West Long Branch. It's a game that you can watch on ESPN3. For more on Monmouth football, check out the various social media platforms as well as our website at monmouthhawks.com.